It was taken in the springtime, but the other thing I really like is I can switch it over to a topographical map. Oh, yeah. Check that out. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Okay. And you yeah. Can, it may be hard for you to see, but they actually have the Bruce Trail dotted. Yeah. Yeah, um, the contours are like 25 feet, I guess. The contour interval. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure, but it's. Uh, I just thought that was really cool. Yeah, it is cool. It's not as detailed as I would like, but, uh, you know, you can buy maps if you really need them. But it does show the three lots that we sold and the, you know, the part that Rosie and, and, and Percy owned and that triangle that mom and dad were going to build on and never did. So are you, talking, was, are you talking about up here, these three yeah, lots? Yeah, they were all sold by us to keep the place afloat. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And then over here somewhere, you're talking about this? That one, that one also. And that's where you're saying your folks were thinking about building their house there? Yep, they were for years, and then that changed. Okay. Um, that picture of me and my fat friend Bill standing with, you know, these skinny legged jeans and a rail fence was taken on that property. Oh, okay. All right. That's cool. <laughs> um, Very important know, thing. Yeah, well, you know, the um, interesting thing when I look at this map, um, I'm just remembering some of the things that you have pointed out to me before. So if we move over here, um, this is this is Kate's Peak, right over here. Yeah. So this would be. Yeah, I don't see that. I wonder why that line is through the property. It looks as though it's been divided into two pieces of property, and I did not know that. Well, yeah, I remember you telling me that. So originally, it would have been great if this guy could have ran it all the way up. Yeah. The, to the top but he couldn't no and so, so you, the, he severed the lots on the far side that triangular lot and the other two and he built on one of them and i don't know what happened to the other two yeah Doug that would have been ideal to be able to yeah for sure with. well that that's what he was thinking when he, he talked his dad into buying it but the cedar highlands people just wouldn't play ball with doug yeah um maybe just as well in the long run but somebody I would yeah. say unwisely put another a chairlift up there anyway, to, also to keep the place afloat because all these private clubs wanted to go on forever, but it wasn't a very economical business plan. Yeah, and then the other thing when I was look, <clears throat> looking at <coughs> this topographical map, I remember you and I talk about. So what was the name of this? So here's uh, well, Shush here. Shelly. Um, you were telling me it was some teachers that put a rope tow or something up on this little piece well, of steep train? That was bought, I don't know what the year was, probably 1960s sometime or 70 maybe. Yeah, a group of four or five teachers, Roman Catholic public school teachers from Toronto. I think they bought the whole 100 acres except for some of the lots along the Hockley Road. Now, when you... One, when you say 100 acres, so are you talking about all this land in here? That, that square is 100 acres. That's how the land was generally surveyed. This, this one right here? Yeah, the whole thing is 100 acres. Well, okay. that's, that's about 40 acres. Oh, I got you. This whole big thing here. Yeah, I yeah. don't think these teachers bought two separate pieces. They bought one big chunk, and they subsequently uh, fell out with one another. One guy, Frank Saul, kept the right side. You can see the white clearing for where he had a ski trail. Oh, right see here? That? Right there, yeah. That's where his little palm lift went. But early on, they had a rope tow probably up that hill. And then another, one of the other guys, Stanley, the, the guy who had a beekeeping business, he was one of the people who fell out with the group. And he had his own ski hill on the other side and a couple of rope tows and now, when you say when you say the other side, where are you talking about? Well, the bigger part of that hundred acre chunk, yeah, over here, there, yeah. Okay, very nice hill. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. So they did they did have a ski lift coming well, they, up. Here? They didn't have a ski lift all the way up. He had two rope toes in, in tandem. I think I only ever saw them probably once. Uh, they were kind of homemade. You know, again, you didn't make any money at this stuff. It was just you know fun. Yeah, but uh, he did try, and so did the other guys. So there were two separate little ski facilities, you know, beside Valley Shus. Yeah, that's 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 a really steep train right there. Yeah, it was a really good hill. I remember walking it some, 